I'm Karen Russo. I'm with my dad, Tony Russo. Okay, Dad, where do these watermelons come from? Why are they so special? <laughs> well, I think everything that comes from uh, Ray Vincent's farm is special, including the watermelon, which including he has. Including the watermelon. With thousands of acres of watermelon. He starts growing in South Carolina and he finishes at a big farm in Delaware. And we get them the whole food the course of the season. And you've, you've been buying these watermelons from him for... Raymond. Yeah, for around 10 years. We got a chance to meet each other about 10 years. Uh, just by happenstance, I was chasing uh, watermelon purchases. And <laughs> someone gave me his name. I called. He had the watermelon. So we awesome. it never changed. And these are what color did you say? They're like the pink light inside. Pink, pink to inside. red. That's pink he, to red. He, pinks, he picks them so that they always come perfect. Pink to red. Always fully matured, nice and sweet. Is there a tip to knowing if watermelon is ripe? <laughs> I hate to say, but some people get to go to the thump. So some people, a, a duller thump means it's a little riper, and a, a a higher thump means it's not quite as ripe. I never knew that. Well, I'm not so sure, sure it's the truth, but anyway, so people. But use, I do notice the a difference. Method. Yeah, there is a difference. Yeah. And it's not the placement of the watermelon. If we swap them, it'd be, this will still be have that little little high thump. Thanks for the Tony's tip, Dad. <laughs>